Hi everyone, this is Design Helper. Today I will be showing you how to create a beautiful background in Photoshop and uh, we'll be learning how to do it and uh, it looks we'll be doing something like this and it's this is really easy so if you're a beginner you'll be able to follow this um, without any problems and if you do have any questions you can email me so let's get started so first of all you want to go to Photoshop I'm working with CS4 but if you have CS3 uh, that's fine or CS5 too and uh, you want to create a new project for web um, you can choose any size you want. I'll be working with 800 um, by 600, so I'm just going to say OK. And uh, I'm going to hit F just to make it the screen bigger, just like that. And I uh, see here it says background. I'm going to unblock it by double clicking it and just hit OK. And we'll be creating a layer with a gradient. So I chose these colors because I think it's pretty, but you can choose any colors you want. And then you want to come to the gradient tool right here. If you don't know where that is, where you see the bucket, if you just stay there with your mouse clicked, you choose the gradient tool. And uh, right here you have gradient options. I'll be working with the first one. So I'm just going to drag it down and create a nice smooth gradient. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink it by going like this, just dragging it down. And also if you hit Alt as you drag it down, you can see, you know, it just makes it real perfect. And I think it's about, it's about good. And where you want to go now is to this little button right here. I'm going to hit that. And you see that there's like a grid that will modify the shape of it. And right here it says custom because you can make your own custom shapes. But I actually like using the flag one. You can choose any you want, but for this tutorial, we'll be using the flag one. So you just hit that and you see it has the shape of a flag. I'm going to bring this down to where I want it to be. And I can make it bigger or smaller, anything you want. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to go ahead and Du um, duplicate the layer by clicking Alt and dragging or you can just um, drag this layer down to new layer and you have a copy of it and I'm gonna bring it up and I'm gonna make it bigger uh, maybe not not so like this and what, I'm, what you want to do now is experiment with um, these options right here, I'm going to choose screen and you can see that you know if you have an object on top of the other it creates this real nice um, color and gradients um, so I'm going to leave it like that because I actually like it and I'm going to repeat the steps again, I'm going go to go the, to the first one and I'm going to copy another instance of it and I'm gonna put it here, yeah, make it bigger, maybe like that. And I'm gonna change it to see that screen, so maybe lighten. And you can try with any, as I, I was saying before. And you you can just turn it around. You you can get some cool effects, and it's really nice just to play around with it till you get whatever you you're looking for. Um, and then I don't know maybe bring this one to the other side just make it bigger and you know I think you, you can create some really nice things and uh, here's a little trick that I want to share with you and that would be if you choose all the layers and you click with the right button and you choose merge layers you're gonna get all this in one layer and you can go to image and adjustments and then go to um, let me find it hue and saturation. If you click that, uh, you get a window like this one. And here's a really nice trick that I, I like using it a lot. And if you hit colorize, you see you're gonna get a, a different color and you can change it by just moving this up and down 
like if you want to get a nice red one you just choose the red and then you move the saturation and you can get a you know, pretty strong one and you can you know again just play with the lightness and uh, if you want to get a blue one you don't have to do it all over and you can just you know choose whatever you, you like and um, and, you, and you save it and uh, as you see it's pretty easy and you can get some really nice effects and um, I hope you enjoy it and if you have any questions drop me an email or a message and I'll get back to you thank you for watching